Hi friends, welcome to the classes on design and analysis of algorithms. Coming to the next concept that is reliability design, which is the application of dynamic programming. So we'll see what is this reliability design. Okay, and also we'll solve one example problem. So what is this reliability design? So here it is to design a system that is composed of several devices connected in a series. That means it's like finding the reliability when we connect different types of devices. So each device will have two constraints, two features. That is one is what is the cost of the device. At the same time, if we connect the device, what is the change in the reliability? That means what is the reliability of that device? You can see here. So let us suppose you start at one point, one point here and this is the output point. Let us suppose this is the input point. This is the output point. When there is a flow of information through this network from here input to the output, if no device is connected in between, whatever the reliability here it is there, high reliability one will be there at the output also. Now if we connect a one device here, now what happens to the reliability at the output session? So it depends on the reliability of this device. So whenever you don't connect any device, initially the reliability will be one. When you connect this device, this device will have some sort of reliability. Let us suppose something 0 0.8 and if you connect, the cost will be something like 50. Now what happens to the reliability at the output? It will become 0 0.8. Now if you connect one more device here, let us suppose that device reliability is 0 0.7. What happens to the output reliability? that is a reliability of the system. So like this, if I connect a number of devices in a system, what happens to the reliability? And now our task, our task in reliability design is to get a system, to design a system which is having like these devices where you need to get high reliability with low cost. How to get that one? So that is our question here. So how to solve this one? Everything will be there. Everything I'll explain by taking an example. Let RI be the reliability of the device TI. Then the reliability of the entire system is given by phi into phi RI. That means product of all the devices. Let us suppose if I connect in series, reliability of the device D1 is 0 0.8. Reliability of the device D2 is 0 0.7. What is the total reliability will be given as R1 into R2 whereas R1 is the reliability of the first device, R2 is the reliability of the second device. That will be, you can take it as 0.56. Let us suppose this value is, if I take two devices are same, same type, let us suppose the device is 0.9, this also 0.9. Let us suppose, what is the reliability of the entire system? So 0. 8, 1. That means if you can observe, even if you take the same devices in series, the reliability of the system is decreasing. This is 0 0.9. Here it is becoming 0 0.8. That is also we need to observe. That is a point I mentioned here. Even if individual devices, even if individual devices are very reliable, the reliability of the system may not be very good. That means this is example. Even if individual devices, if I take in series, the same copy, then also it may not be very good. Hence it is desirable to duplicate devices, multiple copies of the same device type are connected in parallel. That means let us suppose instead of taking in series, I'll take in parallel. Like what is the reliability? Then it will be only 0 0.9. But how many devices you need to use and how many copies you need to use and so that I'll get the more reliability. So this is what the problem statement and we'll take some example also. So how to get the answer for reliability if I have more devices here it is given. If stage i contains mi copies, number of copies. Let us suppose if I take two copies mi value will be two of the device di then the probability of mi having a mal function. So what is a mal function means? Let us suppose uh, I'll have the reliability R I r1 as 0 0.9. So if I take copies, how many copies? Let us suppose two copies. Let what is the probability of having malfunction is given by 1 minus 0 0.9 whole power 2. 
which is equals to 0 0.1 whole square this is 0 0.01 is the probability of mall function then what is the reliability that means 1 minus this 0 0.01 that is given 1 minus whatever the reliability this is the reliability of the system will be 0 0.99 remember this point so that is a phi, uh, phi ra that is given if the same copy that means same device in number of copies how the reliability will be changed now purging rule or dominance rule the same thing like in your knapsack problem where you have if you take two sets see here you will take each set reliability and cost pair you need to consider if two reliability and two pairs if i consider where rj is less than rk that means the reliability of the first device this device is less than this whereas cost of this device is greater than this one is less than one is greater than what you need to do where you need to remove rj and cj this pair has to be eliminated in the set why because where this is a reliability is less this is a reliability is less compared to this and cost is more that means we are removing a pair where reliability is less and cost is more we don't want that always we are checking for reliability is more as well as cost is less so like this thing we need to consider that is remove device with less reliability and more cost anyway this part i'll explain in the problem clearly now we'll see the question so here the question is given like design a three stage system with devices three devices it is given where each device cost is given and reliabilities are also given now cost of the total system is also given it should not exceed it should not exceed 105 here we have a constraint that total cost which is given by capital C should not exceed 105 so you need to design the system by taking these devices you can use the copies also number of more than one copy okay now my question is how many number of copies of each device can be taken so how to find that here we have that is given by upper bound of each device so I need to find the upper bound of each device that is UI so U1 means that is upper bound of first device let us suppose if I want to find U1 means how many copies of the first device I have to consider that means I need to find I'll substitute here u1 equals to c what is the maximum cost 105 plus c1 minus sigma cj so what is j j starts from 1 to n number of devices that means totally three three devices are there that's why 1 2 3 that is cj that means I'll write it as I'll write it as I j value will I'll substitute c1 plus c2 plus c3 entire divided by again c1 now if you do this one 105 plus what is c1 30 and sum of the devices all the sum of the cost of the device 30 plus 15 plus 20 that is 65 by what is c1 30 now if you do this one you will get the answer as 70 by 30 which is something like 2.33 if I round it it will become 2 now you can say that u1 answer is 2 that means you can take maximum of two copies of the first device you can take maximum of only two you can take one copy of the first device you can take two copies of the first device you cannot take three copies or four copies up to two copies now what about u2 that is 105 plus c2 c2 means 15 minus sum of the cost of the devices 65 divided by e cost of the device 2 that is 15 this can be given as 15 5 by 15 so 55 by 15 which is 3 point something like 6 so if I round it it will become 3 so what is the meaning here you can take maximum of three copies of the second device second device you can take three copies first device you can take maximum of two copies now what about u3 so 105 plus what is c3 20 total of cost of the all devices 65 divided by c3 20 so this is 
60 by 20 which is exactly 3 so no need to round it so 3 that means device 3 I can take maximum of 3 copies 1 copy I can take 2 copies 3 copies I can take so all these you called as upper bounds first step you need to find these upper bounds first uh, device first device I can take maximum of at most 2 copies second device at most 3 copies third device at most 3 copies of the device I can take now we need to start like first I need to take s power 0 I need to take pairs in each one so what is s power 0 actually we need to found s power 0 s power 1 s power 2 s power 3 so that is s power 0 s power 1 s power 2 s power 2 why till s power 3 3 means maximum I have 3 devices that's why s power 3 if I have 4 devices you may find s power 4 also now starting from s power 0 initially in each set you will have pairs in each pair the first value represents reliability second value represents cost first value represents reliability second value represents cost of the system now initially s power 0 means you have not connected any device so reliability will be high so there is no intermediate device that's why reliability initially one high reliability what is the cost of devices no device is connected that's why 0 is the cost that's why this is the initial pair s power 0 now you need to find s power 1 what is s power 1 you need to find first s1 power 1 s2 power 1 what is s1 power 1 see the top one superscript you take this as a device number the subscript number of copies so this is device number this one subscript you call it as copies now how many copies of the first device I can take here two copies so I can take one copy I can take two copies now what is s power one s one power one means for the first device if I, if I take one copy what is this value what about s two power one that means for the first device if I take two copies of the device what are the values of this so after getting these two values you need to match these two values you will get s power one what about s power 2 you need to find s1 power 2 s2 power 2 s3 power 2 so 2 2 2 means second device now one copy so how many copies of the second device I can take maximum of three copies that's why s1 power 2 that means second device if I take one copy second device if I take two copies second device if I take three copies what is the value after getting these three values merge all those things that is s power 2 and what about the next one s power 3 so s power 3 third device I can take maximum of three copies so s1 power 3 that means third device one copy this is third device two copies this is third device three copies like this I need to get and after getting all the values you need to match so that you will get this one and also one more thing you need to consider at each stage you need to check for purging rule or dominance rule not only that you need to check the total system cost should not exceed 105 okay so like this you need to find finally after getting s3 this is our answer so we'll solve it one by one so starting from s power one power one i need to get this one then i have to get this one then only i'll get s1 okay now coming to the finding for s power one in that i'll take s11 first so what is s11 